Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. Today is practice day for me. I'm up here, Thousand Islands, Lake Ontario, getting ready for the FLW Super Tournament, the two-day event, final event of the regular season. And uh, it's gonna be fun. There's a lot of good fish biting right now. I uh, had pretty good practice, guide trips in the you know last couple weeks up here. So uh, we got two days, Thursday and Friday, to figure it out. Of course it's blowing. It's blowing bad right now. It's, the sun's not even up yet. So trying to figure out what to do. We're gonna get into it, it's all coming up. blowing pretty bad out. Um, it's northeast. Oh, I gotta get back in the light. It's northeast. However, it's uh, it's it's pretty strong, and it's not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to run where I want to run today. So we're gonna poke around the river just for a little bit in the morning. Well, I found my boys at the gas station. <laughs> just wondering what to do. We're not doing shit. It's just a little breezy out. So this day of practice was actually a bust. East wind in the St. Lawrence River really backs up the current. Can't present your bait right. I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't really want to be out there, so I said, I'm out. But I did piece together a few uh, videos of some of my practice prior to these two nasty windy days. We'll take a look at some of these fish catches. We got a fish, a decent fish actually. Mm, just digging. They always do. Or he feels big. He looks decent. Not really. Another stud. Sick. I need to make this. I need to get here in this tournament. This one's not huge, but nah, he's not huge. He's four. I caught some studs in the last couple hours. not big. Thought he was big. Um, today I practiced a little bit. I went out on the lake in the morning and it was pretty tough. A lot, pretty strong um, east battle. Way. Then I went into the river down by Chippewa Bay and uh, couldn't find anything. Nothing I liked. I don't don't really like dragging a drop shot around hoping to run across a few fish. That's totally not what I like to do, it's not my style. I feel out of control when you're just drifting, making drifts. You could be 10 feet off, and then you just can't stay on these fish. It's just a stupid, stupid way to fish. But that's how you have to do it in the river. So, for the most part. So, we're going to go to the meeting here shortly, and uh, the FLW director is going to determine my fate tomorrow. 
can I run to the lake? I got a good group of fish on the lake. Would love to be able to go there. Let us fish the lake or close this whole freaking place down. They did a little thing on Facebook, a rant, if you will. And it's true, guys. If there's a big body of water, Lake Okeechobee, if it's blowing, they don't say, okay, guys, you can only stay in the north section of the lake. No, they close the whole thing down. So why are you doing it here? They're gonna close the lake. It's supposed to be strong winds tomorrow. They're gonna cancel the lake and be like, ah, hey, you guys got all these, if you don't have spots in the river, then you suck. I guess I suck. So, do what you gotta do, FLW, but it's not cool. Cancel the day. Cancel day one, let us all fish day two. Day two is gonna be a little bit better with the wind. But no, they're not. They're gonna keep my sorry ass in the river. And I'm gonna make do. I'm gonna make a long run, 40 miles east, if I have to stay in this dump hole. And uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can put something together tomorrow. It'll be interesting for sure. I'm looking forward to it either way. I'm just a little disappointed. You know, it, it is what it is with the weather up here. It's always questionable at best. And we're gonna do our best to adjust and try to get a good bag tomorrow. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so, like, I, like, whatever. I ain't got the right batteries, it's windy, it's blowing. Life isn't good right now. But, we got Tom over here. I'm gonna Hey. <laughs> Beep. All right, so, they're making us run, and um, the lake's closed down, so I got about an hour and 20 minute run. And uh, it just, I don't know, we'll see how it goes today. We'll have, uh, hopefully the, one of these cameras will be running all day. And we'll uh, catch 20 plus to make it tomorrow. But that's questionable. We're gonna... If I only knew now, right now, how bad it was going to get, I would not be doing this. But I made the run. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so back. <laughs> Where do we begin? Hmm. <sighs> I don't even know. Let's begin by saying, first and foremost, uh, FLW needs to be a little bit more consistent when it comes to their cancellation of tournaments and when and when they let people go. You know, we had a regional on the Chesapeake last year. It wasn't that windy and they canceled it. We had a Lake Erie event. It wasn't that windy and they canceled it. We have a <laughs> an event here today 30 plus mile an hour winds treacherous people are busting up equipment and they let us fish uh, doesn't make sense um, uh, I know it's tough call as a, a tournament tournament director but uh, this wasn't that tough of a call I mean it was bad in the morning just because you close one I don't know if they understand this first of all I think we are going through all this you can't close a section of the body of water you got to close the whole thing it's just not fair or right and uh, I think because they think they closed one section I don't think they realize how much water is here maybe I don't know. I mean, I'm just talking anyways let me talk to you about my guy with let me share with my day uh, things didn't go as I had planned however it was um, it was pretty bad it was one of the roughest uh, top five rough boat rides I've ever had in my life so I was quite a ways away. It took me, took me an hour in the morning. We had a straight south wind, so I was able to hug the south shoreline and get to my area. And the first area I, I stopped on was an area I did well last weekend and uh, couldn't get a fish, couldn't really catch them at all. And uh, had to bounce around a little bit, found them, found a group of really good ones. I got three studs and then two little guys, like pound and a halfers. And I just ran out of time. My co-angler had two real good ones there. Um, so I know the fish are there. I'll probably be heading there next week in the Big Costa tournament. But as far as, um, you know, I didn't get on that spot until about 9, 10, 11. I only had about two and a half, three hours of fish in there. And boat control is really important. And it was just, uh, it was difficult to, to uh, position and maintain that bait properly for those fish. So that's where we kind of went. It was just tough, and I came back, <clears throat> I left, it was noon, I go, 
I go to my co, because the, um, the wind picked up, I go, we probably have to start heading back. And I, I have some areas up close we can fish. I didn't want to leave, I needed another, another hour would be awesome there. Because it literally had a 24, 25 pound bag sitting there. Between my three good ones and then my co anglers, it was, there was some good fish. But I'm so glad I left at noon because it literally took me, I was going 15 miles an hour, like up in the air, to bow up in the air. So bad. So here's what happened. We speared a couple waves, obviously, you're gonna do that. I mean, it was big walls of waves. My trolling motor <clears throat> broke, the bracket flew off. Uh, I just, my buddy Ed from Canada just uh, helped me right now. We just got it done. It's seven o'clock, I was off the water now. We've been working on it for two hours. But I got a new mount. I always carry a trolling motor with me in the truck and the mount. And so hopefully this will get me through this week. But there was some damage. There was definitely some damage. Uh, we speared a couple big waves. We had some water in the boat. I was pressing my buttons and guys, I, just a stupid mistake. You're just not thinking clearly. I, I was thinking we we're gonna have to go to the boat ramp and we're not making it back. That's a long boat ride, guys. Almost three hours of running in the boat to go 30 miles. I mean, that's how bad it was. But I hit the pump out thinking it was a bilge pump. It was for my live wells. So I killed my five smallmouth today. Um, had a penalty, a dead fish penalty, which is, it's my own fault. I was just an idiot. Uh, just wasn't thinking clearly. I was hitting buttons trying to find that bilge and I must have hit that and didn't turn it off. So, um, unfortunately, uh, the fish died and I got a penalty for that, well deserving. But I thought it was gonna slip me, get me out of the cut. Uh, but it didn't, I did make it. So I do fish tomorrow. Uh, top uh, 22, I believe fish tomorrow top 20 percent so we have a shot well we're gonna see what happens tomorrow i'm super excited there's a shot i can squeeze up in there uh, have a respectable finish that's my goal but i'm gonna need a pretty good bag things are gonna have to go my way i'm looking forward to it we'll see you guys in the morning day two uh, 20th place so i got a little bit of work to do 22 ish is leading i had uh some issues yesterday dead fish penalties all that so we're looking at 16 10 is what i have i'm gonna need a 28 pound bag to feel good about life but i don't know if that's doable we'll, we're gonna find out we're gonna be heading offshore here momentarily bad news made the run get out there realize my electronics are not working properly my hummingbird was shot which doesn't really matter because their 2d sucks and you can't drop on fish anyways with hummingbird but my garmin wasn't displaying properly so everything was messed up and just had a really really hard day without having electronics to see those fish um, it just didn't work out for me as planned so sometimes I do struggle, you know, it happens. So this is going to be the smallest bag um, of five fish I've ever weighed in. That's about all they are, five of those. Oh man, what a day. So where do we start? Electronics weren't working too well in the morning and um, when I got to my first spot, and I was dropping on fish deep, so couldn't really do that. I guess the ride from yesterday uh, messed up some things. So luckily, I'm sticking around for the uh, FLW Coast that uh, is next week, Thursday. So uh, Garmin will be there, and they should be able to get me back on the water. Uh, my electronics working anyways. Uh, I think I weighed the smallest bag ever here at the St. Lawrence River. I had five fish for just under seven pounds. So good job, Travis. Uh, disappointing day, obviously. Uh, I don't even know. You need your electronics working in order to catch them. I did go shallow for a little bit. Ah, just stubborn, whatever. But look at this, beautiful sunset here on the river. I got a couple more days to try to figure something else out for the uh, Costa. Uh, pretty much a bust, man, this FLW BFL this year. 2019 was a terrible year for the BFL. We should not have fished day one. 
A lot of boats got broke, a lot of boats got sunk, a lot of boats didn't make it in, a lot of people are pissed off. And again, I talked to the tournament director and said, listen, dude, we shouldn't be going out. But he said the winds are going to calm down later, forecasted. I don't know, guys. You can download your stupid weather apps, do whatever you want. Weather.com for me is pretty legit. It, it, hour by hour, type in the exact town you're from. That's what I always go by. But, but you know, weather people. All it is is they're getting they're getting information from the government, all these news stations, and then they're feeding them information, you know, in case, you know, snow might be forecasted, they want people to buy more snow shovels and snow plows and blah blah blah. Or if it's a nice weekend they're gonna tell you it's not gonna rain. So you go to the store and spend more money on consumables. Alright, that's a little bit of the government and some of the conspiracy theories coming out. I mean, that's enough, Travis. Keep it all about fishing. Listen, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any likes and comments. And as always, until next time, we'll see you back on the water, hopefully more than seven pounds on the St. Lawrence River.